Once our children start using and writing numbers of 10 and more, they'll begin to learn about place value. Place value simply means the value given to a digit according to where it's placed in a number. So, for example, if we compare the numbers 1 and 10 and 100, we can see how the value of the digit 1 changes massively depending on where it is in a number. Each time it moves along a space to the left, its value gets 10 times bigger. Here, the 1 means 1 unit. And here, the 1 means 110. And here, it means 100. It can be easier to explain this to children using everyday objects. Imagine we're talking about bananas. Here, in the number 1, the digit 1 is the first and only digit and so it represents only one single unit or one banana. There we go. Here, in the number 10, the digit 1 has been shoved along one place to the left and so its value has changed. Its value has got 10 times bigger. It now represents not one single banana, but one bunch of 10 bananas. And now, if we look at the 100, we can see that the digit 1 has been shoved along another place, and its value has got 10 times bigger again. It now represents one box of 100 bananas. like this. When children are older, they will be working with numbers with as many as eight digits, like 10 million or 1000000. Remembering the value of each place in numbers that size can take time. Charts like this that show the value of each place in a number can help. It can also help for children to see that the values of the different digits in a number come in groups of three. So the three digits at the far right of a number always have a value in the hundreds or less. They're single units, tens or hundreds. The next three digits always have a value in the thousands single thousands, ten thousands or hundred thousands. And the next three numbers are always in the millions, single millions, ten millions or hundred millions. As well as learning to count really big numbers, our children will also learn how to use and count numbers with decimals and negative numbers.